PS5 is getting variable refresh rate? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about how the PS5 is finally getting the variable refresh rate feature. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. Alright guys, so the news that we're going to be covering today, it's short, it's sweet, but it's a game changer. Literally. And it's going to impact people around the world. Let's jump right in. So Sony's PS5 variable refresh rate feature begins rolling out this week. Sony will begin rolling out support for the variable refresh rate or VRR feature for the PS5 via an update released this week, the company announced this Monday. On HDMI 2.1, VRR compatible TVs and PC monitors, um, VRR dynamically syncs the refresh rate of the display to the PS5's uh, console's graphical output. Sony's Hideaki Nishino said in a blog post, this enhances visual performance for PS5 games by minimizing or eliminating visual artifacts such as uh, frame pacing issues and screen tearing. The feature will be available globally. So to simplify what they just said, think of a video, right? Any video. A video is basically pictures stacked together and you know, just played through really, really fast. Okay, Th that's basically the frames. Uh, ideally, you know, you want to target a consistent frame rate, something like uh, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second as an example and um, the screen that you play your games on uh, whether it's a TV whether it's a monitor it has a fixed refresh rate whether it's 60 120 144 whatsoever it may be but the console or you know your gaming device whether it's the console itself or a PC um, you know depending on the changes in the scene the level the design uh, the, that frame rate, it's going to fluctuate. It's not going to say consistent at 60 or 120 or whatever that number is for you. It's going to fluctuate all over the place. And when there's that inconsistency between what your gaming machine can output versus, you know, the static frame rate of your display, you experience things like artifacts, glitches, um, screen tearing. What variable refresh rate does is it makes sure that the refresh rate of your display or your screen is always in sync with your uh, gaming machine. That means that if your console is putting out 60 frames a second, your TV is going to show 60 frames per second. If it's for some reason pumping out 40 frames a second, then your TV is going to match that. And you know, it just makes sure that it's always consistent between the two uh, so that you have a much smoother gaming experience. A handful of games will get VRR support in the coming weeks, according to Nishino's blog. These games include Astro's Playroom, that's the default game that you get with your PS5, Call of Duty Vanguard and Black Ops Cold War, uh, you get Bungie's Destiny 2, Capcom's Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, Dirt 5, Godfall, uh, you get Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales, uh, another Sony exclusive making its way, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. But then we have things like um, Resident Evil Village, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Rainbow Six Siege, and Tribes of Midgard with more games to follow. Insomniac's James Stevenson said the patches will roll out very soon for its games. Uh, that would be um, Spider-Man and the works. Uh, we have a tweet from him too, patches rolling out very soon for our PS5 games. Sony will let you apply VRR to games that don't support it. However, Nishino warns that results may vary depending on the TV you're using, uh, the game you're playing, and the visual mode you've selected for a particular game if it supports multiple modes. Um, so essentially, obviously, uh, you know, what kind of display you have plays a big role over here. Uh, usually, um, when it comes to TVs specifically, LG's taking the lead in that department. It, it, it like its TVs are most feature packed when it comes to gaming. Um, usually any gaming monitor these days, it's gonna like have all the bells and whistles that you could possibly want for uh, a gaming display. And then there's obviously the game that you're playing, just how graphically intense it is, what exactly is going on in the scene and you know, uh, how it's transitioning from scene to scene, uh, the preset that you're playing on, uh, whether it, for example, has ray tracing enabled, whether it's performance mode. So there's a couple of different factors that can overall affect the quality 
quality or the impact of this feature. Uh, in most cases, you should be able to see improvements. Uh, with the addition of the VRR support, Sony finally catches up to Microsoft's Xbox Series X and S, which are both capable of the feature. Sony said in March that the feature would be available soon. Since you can technically turn that option on when it's available for games that don't natively support it, there is a possibility that uh, in some instances for some games, that feature might not work as ideally as you would like it to. So uh, you can go ahead and play around with all the different modes that are available to you depending on the game. And if you experience any hiccups in those games, you can always go ahead and turn uh, the toggle or the feature off for said games. Let me know how long have you been waiting for this feature down in the comment section below. Clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.